Sometimes all you need is a single image from which you can make a composite. Let's give it a try with this photo. What I'm going to do is select one of these balloons and make a copy of it. I'll go to the toolbar and I'll long press or double tap the lasso selection tool. And from the flyout menu, I'm going to choose the quick select tool. My tool options are docked to the bottom of the toolbar, and you'll see there that the top icon, the add to selection icon, is selected. So that means that I can use this tool to drag over the large balloon, I can release my finger, and then I can add to that selection by dragging over the little basket at the bottom. So now that I have the balloon and the basket selected, I'm going to go over to the right side of the screen and tap the three dot menu in the taskbar, and there I'm going to choose copy. Then I'll tap deselect to make the marching ants disappear. I'll tap the three dot menu again, and this time I'll choose paste. And that creates a new layer that has just a copy of the selected balloon. And you can see that in the Layers panel. Now I'll tap the Move tool, and with the top layer, the layer with the balloon selected in the Layers panel, I'll click and drag to move the copy of the balloon. I'll tap the Transform tool in the toolbar to make that smaller so it looks like it's in the distance, and I'll drag any of the corner anchor points, and that allows me to scale the image down proportionally and then I can press inside of this bounding box and drag to position it wherever I want it. And then I'll tap Done at the top of the image. So that's an overview of how to use selection tools and their options, along with ideas about how you can make a simple composite from a single image here in Photoshop on your iPad.